Hi, and welcome back to The Tooth Doctor here on YouTube. I'm with Dr. Peter Yu, The Tooth Doctor. And today he's gonna answer all our questions about dentures and alternatives. You've got to get up every morning with determination if you're going to go to bed with satisfaction. It's true, right? It <laughs> sees the day, right? Yes, <laughs> Yes, that's right. 75% of Canadians visit a dental clinic annually and 86% do so at least once every two years. And that's coming from the Canadian Dental Association. Mm. That's, that's good. 75 is pretty good. Get that number up and even better. Um, I'm surprised. I yeah, thought it would be like 50%. So. Yeah, there we go. Dr. Yu, you aren't a dentist, but what are some ways you have helped patients with denture issues? Um, we, we do do some dentures. We like to help our patients out when we can, uh, and at the same time we want to direct them to the uh, the pros mm -hmm. if it's a little bit more tricky. Right. Okay. Um, so with denture issues, you know sometimes a tooth breaks off, uh, sometimes there's an imbalance in, in the fit of the denture, mm -hmm. and so you know I've seen some patients. I, I met this um, one lady. She came in and she had a denture. It was about five years old, and she's like, "Yeah, it hurts over here." And I looked in her mouth and I saw, oh, the denture, you know, the dent, the, her bone is like this, but the denture wasn't sitting like this. It was actually sitting like this. Uh -huh. Okay. So it didn't hurt, didn't bother her. And in my mind, I was like, okay, if I just shave this piece off, then it'll be, it'll good and won't rub on her inside uh -huh. of her lip. Uh -huh. But then I realized, wait a second. So I asked her, when's the last time you had a reline and got your denture check? She's like, I have it. I, when I got it five years ago, I just... Kept it, fits good, everything's good. Mm. Well, I told her, you know, if I shave that piece off, well then now there's a big gap and now food can get underneath your denture and it'll just be more of a nuisance. Mm -hmm. So what I suggest to her is go and see, um, you know, what we would do is reline or basically re, yeah, reline the denture mm -hmm. so that it's fitting properly and then we would reduce that piece off so that now there's not a hole or gap where food can get trapped underneath. Oh, okay. Right, so that's just, a, a simple thing that we can try and do to help our patients out. Nice. Okay, explain the difference between partial dentures, full dentures, and over dentures. Mm -hmm. Okay, well let's start off with full dentures. Okay. Full dentures means you have no teeth. Okay. So all your teeth are the denture. Okay. Mm -hmm. Partial dentures is where you have some of your teeth. Anywhere from one to more. I've seen people with two back molars and the rest of their teeth are dentures. That is still considered a partial denture. Mm -hmm. right? An overdenture mm -hmm. is a situation where you have teeth, but the denture actually sits over top of them. Okay, so uh, there have been one one example comes to mind is a patient. They had two canine teeth, and what ended up happening was the patient had the teeth shaved down and put both cold like cones on them. Oh. Okay, and then then a denture was made to fit over top of those cones. And so then all their teeth that you saw were the denture teeth, uh, but those those cones, those, those teeth that were covered up with the, the, the cone crowns per se, they were there for support to prevent the denture from shaking and moving. Oh, okay. Yeah. So one common issue with dentures is difficulty eating. Why is, it, why is that and what are some ways to overcome it? Mm-hmm. Um, it is difficult to eat when it feels, uh, anything that's foreign to your body is going to feel different, right? It's like, um, you know, putting on, putting on rubber gloves and, and trying to, trying to make something with your hands, mm -hmm. right? Like put, you know, put on big rubber gloves and play Lego, right? Yeah. It just, it's not the same. Yeah. Uh, so with dentures, when it's something foreign in your mouth, you know, it's a little bit bulkier. And so it does affect your speech and your bite and chew and just the way your, your tongue and mouth moves around. Mm -hmm. And so there can be issues with that. Uh, difficulty eating, you know, they say that, you know, with your dentures, it does, you, your feeling and sensation is different. So your bite power actually reduces quite a bit. Okay. okay. All right. Other issues that are common with dentures are denture slippage, difficulty speaking, and pain. What are some tips to help with these issues? Uh, denture slippage, difficult speaking pain, you know, we do tell patients to go in to see a denturist or a dentist uh, regularly, at least once a year, just to make sure that everything is fitting properly. Uh, pain is usually come when there's an imbalance, if there's too much pressure on the gums in certain areas, 
It can cause sores or ulcers, mm -hmm. and so we need to relieve those. Uh, but you want the denture to be sitting as much on the tooth as possible. If you have gaps in the areas, then the, then there becomes you know extra pressure in certain areas, which actually creates a negative uh, effect on the bone, which actually causes it to shrink faster. Oh, wow. okay? So is it common for people with dentures to avoid wearing them due to some of those issues? It's common. Like would they maybe not wear their dentures because oh, slippage? A lot of times. <laughs> I see a lot of people. It's like, do you have a denture? Like, yeah, it's in my house somewhere uh, over two years ago. I'm not sure where it is. Oh, you know, so wow. you hear, I hear many stories like that. Huh. Of, you know, dentures that aren't fitting well or they just don't feel comfortable with them. Mm -hmm. So what are some potential issues associated with not wearing those dentures? Uh, the issues with not wearing dentures is, I tell patients, you know, your dentures are supposed to protect the teeth that you already have. You have to think of it that way. And so by having the denture in, it spreads the force of your bite, it allows you to chew properly, okay? The other thing too is that with dentures, um, it, it helps to support the rest of your teeth, okay? So when, when you have uh, with your natural teeth, it prevents the teeth from shifting and moving, mm -hmm. um, you know, incorrectly. Okay. So what are, or how do dental implants help solve some of these common problems with dentures? Well, by having a, we call it a denture supported, uh, sorry, implant supported denture, mm -hmm. um, it helps to provide a lot of stability. I met a lady who once, she had a denture, full lower denture, kept wobbling around, she didn't like it. She had two implants placed, and then the dentist clipped the denture on the implants. And said, okay, I'm gonna go to a different room and see a patient uh, in about 10 minutes when you hear the, the beep, try and take it off. Okay, so he came, went there, just came back, and she was like fighting with it to try and get it off. Like, it was literally night and day. Oh. And so having an implant, uh, having implants to support your denture just allows for very, um, it just feels more solid. Right. Yeah. Okay. If someone has a partial or full denture, what is the process to get implants? Someone has a partial for a denture, uh, then what we would recommend is coming in and then we can assess the health of the remaining teeth. Uh, or if they have no teeth, then we basically assess the bone quality. Okay. And then from there we can try and plan out what kind of implants we want to place, how many implants we want to place. Uh, so there's various different ways of going about placing implants and how the implants um, can support the denture. Okay, now sometimes people people want, we call it uh, denture, implant supported denture, okay? Or some people want something called a hybrid, okay? Mm -hmm. So the denture either clips on, clips off, okay? Or you have the denture where it's actually screwed on, okay? Oh, okay. And so then it stays in your mouth. You don't have to take it out, mm -hmm. okay? But you do have to go in yearly where they have to go in and, and clean underneath there. Right, yeah. um, sometimes they have to actually take, unscrew it, take it off, make sure everything's clean, and then put it back on, screw it back on. Okay. Yeah, so okay. those are really cool, very nice. You, you almost feel like you got your teeth. More in. natural, yeah, yeah, for sure. So do you work with patients denturists? Yes, yes. you know, I think that uh, what the mentor that I work with, he originally had a denturist working in the clinic. Mm. And to see them, they do dentures every day, right? They're kind of like a specialist. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, I love doing all of the variety of things, you know, checks, fillings, you know, crowns, all that stuff. So, you know, I enjoy all the variety of aspects. And so, you know, my knowledge and my, my time with dentures is not as much as a denturist would be. Mm -hmm. And so I'm more than happy to deal with it. We have a few people in town that we refer to them. They send us the patients so that we can prep the teeth. Mm, so yeah. that they're so that the teeth are prepared to place the denture uh, and then they'll refer to us sometimes sometimes they'll refer to us if there's a tooth that needs to be removed uh, various things like that so mm -hmm. we're more than happy to uh, coordinate with dentures yes. oh great good collaboration <clears throat> so what should someone do to get started with the tooth doctor well in regards to your denture you know if you have an issue with your denture if it's loose uh, it just doesn't feel right maybe it doesn't look right Come in, we can give you options in terms of, you know, either replacing the whole thing or maybe even just replacing the teeth uh, or getting it, getting it relined and fit properly. And again, different options. You know, everything is about quality. To me, it's about quality of life. Mm -hmm. So, 
you know, why did you get into dentures? How many teeth are on the denture? You know, can we possibly avoid it? You know, I just saw a gentleman, he came in and had, he had his front three teeth and he had this denture that had broken half. Oh. It was worn out. He was actually, I was surprised it actually stayed in his mouth because it wasn't even grabbing onto the teeth. Oh. And we talked to him about, hey, do you want to wear this thing and have something? Or do you want to maybe, you know, put a bridge in and not have to wear a denture anymore. So there are various options that we like to do to help our patients and we give them options, right? Because, you know, various things will be a factor such as your time, uh, cost, mm -hmm. uh, what you feel comfortable with. And so those are things that we want to help you explore. Mm -hmm. so, and, and so give us a shout, uh, come and visit us. You know, we want to be open and honest and, and do what's best for you. Sounds good. So contact uh the doctor here on YouTube, you can you know, drop a comment or don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like the video, give it a thumbs up yeah. and we will contact you back. Thanks so much for joining us here today on YouTube at The Tooth Doctor. Bye. Bye.